Hello everyone, welcome to part 29 of ReactJS tutorial with Laravel for beginners. And in this video, we are going to show the product detail page on our React app. Okay, in the last video, we able to create the uh, uh, API for our product detail page. And in this video, we are going to call this API to show the product details on our React app. Okay, so you can see that we have done up till the listing of the products first we can click on shop then on any of the category uh, then on any of the product then now we want that if the user will click on any of the product its detail will get open okay so that thing we are going to do in this video we are going to call our api that we have created in the last video this is the api detail api so uh, see here we are going just required to send the uh, uh, that uh, product id okay so against that product id we are going to send the complete product details okay along with its category section and all the details that we can show on our rect app okay so uh, finally we are going to call this api on our rect app uh, okay so uh, we i'm going to open the vs code in which uh, we are building our uh, apis uh, sorry on uh, our rect code okay we are just creating our React code on Visual Studio here. So I'm going to open this one. And after opening it here, I'm going to bring my project here. Okay, I'm going to close this one. I'm going, this is our my project. Okay, React app, fine. So I'm going to move it here. I'm going to open it here. Yes, I can click here. Yes, trust the author. Okay so now uh, i'm going to open here components see we are going to work on the listing component first of all uh, we are going to add the url here the url of the detail okay so that uh, once we click on this image uh, the uh, the details of this product will come so uh, we are going to fetch that detail api as well so here uh, here we are going to add the link I'm going to first add the link here uh, close it the link after image and here i'm going to give the url uh, that we want to use here uh, we are going to add here the url uh, that uh, we're going to make it like a detail uh, sorry uh, here it will not come here <coughs> Here we're going to add detail like this. Okay, so after detail, uh, we require to send the product ID. Okay, so product ID uh, we can send here uh, like uh, this one is the our product ID. Okay, so that we're going to send here like this. Fine, it is product id we are sending we are going to check once i'm going to refresh see refresh is not required though it uh, instantly refresh okay so we can see the link has come up here and you can see add down that detail uh, uh, that uh, id is going we can click on this one so that you, you, it, it will clear to you see detail and along with that we are sending the id as the parameter okay as the content string okay we are sending the product detail uh, that product id uh, along with the detail api okay so this one we are going to use to call our api okay so we are going to create uh, the detail component like like we have created the listing component we are going to create the detail component okay so here i'm going to create the new component new uh, that will be named as the detail.js or uh, here I'm going to create that uh, uh, rect arrow function component like this okay so this time I'm going to use this arrow function okay uh, so here uh, we are going to use all like we are using in listing page going to use all the classes like we are importing in the listing page we are going to use the xus we are going to use the browser router we are going to use the use such param so I am going to copy this all and we'll paste it here because we are going to use this all okay so after this one uh, see uh, i'm going to use this uh, search params as well and this same code i'm going to use uh, so i can even copy this one uh, and can make the changes it will save our time 
our, our precious time okay so uh, here we can simply add it here okay so here uh, instead of products we can make it like product only okay set product because there are only one product not the multiple we are going to show the product details and search param <coughs> it is fine and after that i am going to add here const and fetch data uh, so that we can fetch the data uh, we can call the api okay so here i'm going to call the api and return uh, axios sorry and axios dot get a x i o u uh, sorry you will not call <coughs> axios dot get here we are going to call the api and the api url we are going to add here okay so you have api on the server you can give the server url okay like some website name will come here website url will come here okay so we have the api offline so uh, we will give it like this okay plus see uh, one will not come instead of one we are going to uh, dynamically add our id okay so uh, this will come in search params here search params dot get in get we are going to use the id like this then dot then response okay so here we are going to use the set product and in that uh, we are going to use the response data and that uh, product uh, array in which a uh, product uh, c product object in which we are having the product details this one we are going to use this okay so here we are going to use the use effect to uh, fetch this data okay in the same way like we are using here we are going to uh, call this fetch data inside use effect okay in the same way like we are using in the listing now in return so in return we are going to uh, see we are going to uh, add that product detail here okay so div like we have align every time we need to align here align center and here inside that uh, now we are going to use that product dot map it is like the for each loop in which we are going to show the data of the product detail product detail we are going to show and here uh, we are going to take that product object we are going to take product object here like this okay so here we are going to do it like this okay so now here uh, uh, so here one braces are required so we are going to add like this okay so now here we are going to add the return uh, here we are going to use here div okay in key we can add the id uh, product object id object dot id okay so we can close this one and after this uh, we are going to first of all show the uh, that uh, product name okay in h3 we are going to show the product name okay so i am going to copy this one and uh, we will show here the product name here product name after product name we are going to show the product image like we are showing uh, there okay here also we are showing the image so uh, here we are going to show the image in the same way like we are showing in the listing here we're going to show after this one and here uh, you can see yeah uh, product object uh, product underscore image okay and after this uh, here i think some issue is here we need to see what issue exactly uh, let's see uh, we are going to see this one having uh, okay one is close uh, actually this div needs to 
close here i think that's why this issue is coming okay now it is fine after image uh, we are going to show code and color as well okay but first of all we are going to check that whether it is working fine or not okay up till here like if we are going to click on this one then it must show the detail okay only one single product must come ready casual t-shirt let's see uh, it is not showing anything we are going to see okay so one step is left we are left with one step that is we need to add the detail uh, uh, in the uh, in our app.js okay so we are going to, we are required to import the detail like we have imported the listing here we are required to import the detail as well detail component we import detail from only then uh, it it uh, we can able to show the data in detail okay so like this and here also down also uh, we are going to add a route exact path equal to slash detail element see here detail like this okay make sure there is no issue route exact path detail that is fine element uh, then inside that detail mm, that is closing and here see we are left with this one okay so after this route is going to close <coughs> we are going to remove this one i think some issue maybe mm, no still not working so what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this one I'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here i don't know what is the issue exactly now i'm going to uh, make the changes okay now it will work fine okay so fine it is okay maybe uh, some issue that is not visible now it is fine okay now we can see this one okay so one thing is left here in detail uh, here uh, we forget to add the export default detail that is required here export default detail default detail now it must work fine and now you can see that uh, is coming fine okay once you will click on any of the uh, product uh, see that detail will come up okay so we are going to show the more data now okay so after image uh, we can open the api so we can show the more data so now we are going to show we are shown the product name we are going to show the product color uh, product code and color then product price okay so here uh, we are going to show in h4 okay uh, so in h4 we are going to show first code code we're going to show it like product object okay dot product underscore code like this out of that color then product object dot product underscore color okay so <coughs> here uh, see uh, here we need to close and here also we need to close fine now we're going to check here it is coming fine code as well as color okay so now uh, we are going to show the price like we are showing in listing in the same way we're going to sh show the price here i'm going to copy the final price we're going to show that is having the discount as well okay price we're going to show but uh, we will add here the style as red okay color red in price okay so that the price will get highlighted okay we want to highlight it style we will show here the we will add one more and we'll show here the color as red okay 
we need to do uh, style uh, like this in our xjs okay so here so now it is coming fine it seems to be fine okay so after price we are going to show the description as well and we are going to use this time uh, h5 for the description and here we are going to add the product object once again dot description description uh, like this and uh, we are going to check first of all uh, see the descri description is also coming but we are going to align it okay so i'm going to open the mobile view as it can be open in mobile as well as the tablet okay so here you can see uh, so we uh, are required to decrease its width and we require the justify as well okay so we will add the style for this one as well style we can use it uh, like this and here we will make the width first of all width uh, we are going to set it like 80 percent width and along with that we are going to use the text line text line it will be used like this in uh, our rectus okay so we are going to use here the justify so let's see yeah it seems to be fine okay instead of 80 percent we are going to use here the 90 percent okay we can cover the 90 percent of the screen now it seems to be fine okay so you can see the description is also coming after the uh, product code color price description is also coming okay uh, and also we can show the category here okay if you want to show the category uh, like uh, like for which category and for which brand these products belong uh, that also we can show here okay so for that uh, we can show after the price uh like in h4 itself uh we can copy this one and here uh here we can remove this one and here uh, we can see uh, uh here we can add something like uh, belongs to or brand or category uh something here we can add we are going to see in the detail page uh here okay how we are seeing we can do it like this as well okay so we can show it as well clothing slash okay uh t-shirts or here uh this is the one way okay so what we are going to do we are going to uh, give this slash first category uh, then uh, slash then brand okay so for that we need to see in our api that uh, uh, where is our category is coming inside the category here okay so, uh, dot category dot category name we are going to see if it will work uh, here dot category and dot category name let's see i'm not sure that it will work let's try it dot, dot category name let's see now here and here okay so it is coming fine t-shirt okay category is coming fine uh, so first we are going to show the brand okay and after that we are going to show the category and here we are going to add like this okay and first uh, we are going to see the brand brand is coming inside brand then name okay brand dot name so here brand dot name so both brand as well as category we are showing here okay lee t-shirt so it belongs to the brand lee and it belongs to the t-shirts category okay so here you can see lee t-shirts okay so we can also give here the linking like uh, uh, we have given uh, we have not given here uh, yeah we have given uh, here as well you can see that we can click here and we can go to the men section uh, men uh, men categories all the products are coming here okay so in the same way we can also link uh, the t-shirts or brand or t-shirts uh, once we click here uh, we can go back uh, to the previous api okay so for this uh, we are going to use that uh, category url okay uh, we are going to see here the category url is also coming and here like we have added the uh, in the shop component 
uh, that listing URL. We are going to copy this uh, uh, that link, and we are going to paste it uh, here uh, for the category so that the user can able to open it. Okay, like this. Uh, we can. Uh, sorry, here uh, we are going to cut, and we'll paste here. And here uh, we are going to add product object uh, dot category dot URL. Okay, category dot URL. Here we are going to see what yeah URL fine. So we're going to see now. Let's come back and see. T-shirt is now highlighted. If we are going to click on T-shirt, see we come back. Okay, so you can see like T-shirt. All the T-shirts are coming here. Like if we selected this green T-shirt, uh, see Gap brand. See once we will create that brand uh, here as well. Uh, see uh, there is no brand URL uh, for us right now. But once we have created the brand URL, then we can able to click it here as well. Okay. So but we have the T-shirt URL uh, is here. So once we will click on T-shirt, it will go back. Okay. So this is the thing. Very attractive thing. We can check in our mobile app as well. Here you can see. Uh, everything is visible correctly okay its view is very nice and you can uh, go it like the shop okay then you can click on url then you can click on any of the products to see its detail and see its detail is also coming up here and after that you can click on this url if we if the user want to see all the products once again then user can either click here in shop once again and can click or user uh, can click on that particular product also okay here user can click here also like if he want to see other products then he can click on t-shirts once again from where he can able to assess all the other products as well okay so i hope that you can do up till here and in the next video uh, we are going to show the sizes as well and more info uh, and the user can able to select the size and can add that product particular product to the card okay so uh, we will work on like this side option once the user will select this one and click on add to card then the product will get added to the card okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video so stay tuned for that that's all for now have a nice time goodbye